great thing about Richard Dawkins, he's done a little blurb on me and he calls me an intellectual coward and a man with an air of desperation. Um, <laughs> and the other thing says, I can't be a real scientist. Um, look at Richard Dawkins. I love Richard Dawkins. I use a lot of him in my, in my class to show students. If you're gonna be an atheist, you gotta be a Richard Dawkins. You gotta go all the way. And the thing I'd say to Richard Dawkins is, Richard, there's no doubt about it. I am putting my God on my evolutionary process. I'm taking a step of faith to do that. But Richard, you're taking your atheism and you're attaching it to evolution. You're doing the very same thing. Science deals with the physical. Science does this incredibly well. But when we finish doing our science, then we ask those larger questions, those religious questions, those philosophical questions. What do you make about your scientific discoveries like say biological evolution? And I'd say to Dawkins, in effect, you're embracing a secular religion. Mm. Mm. You are no different than I am. I just think it's more logical to include a God simply because I look at nature and it's unbelievably beautiful, complex and functional. And of course, this is the traditional notion of natural revelation whereby nature reveals. You know, that great Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim the work of his hands. I mean, who doesn't see that? 